What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna dig deep into the tactical side of things and we're gonna focus on the center defensive midfielder, otherwise known as the pivot. There's a lot of general roles and responsibilities as a center defensive midfielder and there's lots of different characteristics that make up a great center defensive midfielder. So the first is be able to have a great range of passing, whether that's the inside of the foot, outside of the foot, laces on the ground, laces in the air. Having all these different types of techniques in your locker is so, so important, as well as picking the correct time during your training and during your games to use each pass, right? So finding the correct times to use the outside of the foot, the correct time to play that reverse pass, that correct time to play the ball in the air, being able to perform the technique under pressure in the correct situation. The next is awareness. As a center defensive midfielder, you must be aware of your teammates all around you on the pitch, as well as the opposition. So being able to scan constantly throughout your match, this will allow you to, in possession, dictate play and find your passes forward, as well as out of possession, you need to be scanning to see where your teammates are and where the opposition is in order to break up play and intercept passes. The third is in possession, being able to make your decision before you receive the ball. A lot of players will receive the ball and right when they receive the ball, that's when they realize, oh, wait a second, I need to do something with it now. You wanna be able to practice as a center defensive midfielder, especially with there being so many players around you all the time, making your decision before you receive the ball. This will allow you to be more effective going forward, as well as allow you to quickly move the ball on and make your decision to progress the ball. The fourth can be determined both as an in possession and out of possession characteristic. This quality is aggressiveness. When you think of aggressiveness, sometimes it's hard to know exactly what you mean. For me, at first, it's out of possession. So it's going into tackles hard, being aggressive with your aerial challenges. It's being physical, okay, and finding the correct times to go into a tackle hard. In possession, it can mean dribbling to engage a player to then find a pass forward. Receiving the ball in the half turn and playing a long penetrating pass into an attacking midfielder. This is being aggressive both in possession as well as out of possession. The fifth and final general characteristic characteristic of a great center defensive midfielder is the ability to change direction and be agile as well as have a high level of fitness. So in terms of your agility, you must be able to quickly turn forward, backwards, shuffle side to side, change in directions all the time. Your fitness is also very important. So being able to last the 90 minutes. And it doesn't just mean being able to run around at the same gear, you know, going and practicing that, running around your block 700 times. You have to be able to sprint multiple times. So you need to be able to change direction quickly, make a quick sprint forward, make a quick shuffle back, even in the 85th, 90th minutes of the game. Now, let's get into the tactical side of things. So our team here, we're gonna be focusing as a 4-3-3 or a 4-1. 4-1 formation. Now our pivot lies here between our four defenders and then our two attacking midfielders. Your role as a center defensive midfielder may be distinguished based on a lot of different factors. So for example, it might be based on the formation your team plays, the roles and responsibilities your coach gives you, as well as your strengths and weaknesses as a player. Take for example, Sergio Busquets of Barcelona in Spain, okay? The way he plays center defensive midfielder is gonna differentiate highly from someone like N'Golo Kante, who plays for Chelsea in England. Not only do their strengths and weaknesses differ as players, but the team itself relies on them for very different reasons. Now as the six here with the ball, your general role as a center defensive midfielder is to keep your team in possession of the football. Now your first look should always be to go forward. Can I look to play into my striker or into my midfielders? But then again, don't be afraid to keep the ball moving and find your fullback or even your defender to create new angles for your team to possess the ball forward. The second point touches on the thirds of the field. So we have a defensive third, a midfield third, and our attacking third. Your role as a center defensive midfielder is to receive the ball from your defensive third in here and be able to transition the ball either further up the field into the midfield third in here into your attacking midfield fielders or even better to receive the ball from your defensive third and progress it into the attacking third. Now, in addition to linking the ball from your defensive third into attacking third, you also in possession want to look to break lines with the ball, right? So you want to break defensive lines. So I've had a line, I have a line here of the opposition and I have a line there, okay? So whether this is a pass here into your midfielder to break this defensive line here to turn and go forward, or better yet, if there's a little bit of movement up top, you might even be lucky to be able to break two defensive lines to then progress the ball forward there. But ultimately, you're looking to break the lines, okay, to find a pass to progress the ball forward to create opportunities going forward to goal. Now, as a pivot, your roles aren't limited to just passing the ball. There's also the opportunities to dribble, which may be effective depending on the situation. 
right? So if you're receiving the ball here in the middle and with a little bit of space and your midfielders may be covered by the defenders, okay? Don't be afraid to dribble the ball forward in here to then engage your defenders in there in order to find a linking pass forward there, right? So the idea is to try and get the, the players out of position with a dribble there or there to then create space to find your forward pass going towards goal. The next general rule when your team has possession as the pivot, okay, is to try and create triangles and angles for your team in order to progress the ball forward. So if my right side the center back here has the ball, I don't want to be making a run into the space here, which would limit the space for myself as well as the rest of my teammates. Rather, okay, maybe it's checking away from the ball this way to engage your defenders there in order to create a passing angle into your attacking midfielder there or or maybe even into your winger. With that being said, maybe you're going away from the ball, which is someone like Busquets with Barcelona to create space, pulling away from your defense there in order to receive the ball in the angle to then progress the ball forward. If the ball is even here on the side, again, you want to be able to create triangles and proper angles. So if you maybe potentially come underneath here to create the triangle between these three players there to then link the play going forward into your attack and midfielders there. And finally, as a center defensive midfielder, you want to be able to provide an outlet for your attacking players in order to switch the play of attack or again progress the ball forward. So in this case, if your winger has the ball out here, okay, everyone else has slid over in the defensive line, being able to provide an outlet here for your winger to maybe receive the ball and then direct the ball out to the other side where the space is here to create an attacking opportunity is a very important aspect as a center defensive midfielder. Now, as a center defensive midfielder, let's talk about your responsibilities when your team is out of possession and defending. So in the case now, we're defending this goal here. Here is our center defensive midfielder. Typically, your responsibilities will lie within the width of the 18 yard box so you want to make sure that you're not drifting too far wide out of possession, leaving this space vulnerable in here. So if the midfielder on the opposition has the ball in here, your role as a center defensive midfielder is to try and break up the play and protect your defensive line in here between the width of the 18 yard box, okay? So if the ball's in here, you're trying to anticipate and break up the play by intercepting passes, okay? And blocking off passing lanes into the opposition's attacking midfielders or into their strikers and their forward players. Let's say our team was attacking initially, we've lost possession of the ball, and the midfielder here has claimed possession. Your role as a center defensive midfielder is to get back into position to protect your back line as quickly as possible. Okay, so if the ball's transition here, okay, and they're dribbling the ball forward, going into the attack, our defensive third. Your role as a center defensive midfielder ultimately is to track straight back towards your penalty spot to try and slow this player down in possession of the ball, right? So you want to make sure you're aggressive in that tracking back, okay? Because this, again, is the general area that you want to be protecting here as a center defensive midfielder. The next responsibility you might have as a center defensive midfielder is tracking a little bit further wide in order to provide defensive support for your teammates. So as I mentioned earlier, you do generally want to stay within the width of the 18 yard box, but there may be the occasional time, depending on your team, where you need to track outside, okay, to help out a teammate. So let's say here, the opposition's fullback has the ball, they've engaged our fullback, our fullback's gone, and ball's gone out here, and our fullback here is left out to dry. Your responsibility as a center defensive midfielder may be, depending on your coach, what your coach will say as well, to track out wide in order to provide defensive support there. And otherwise, there may also be the opportunity that if your center back is forced to go out wide, you as the center defensive midfielder immediately have to track inside, again, to cover the danger space between the goal posts on the diagonal here. Because this in this area as a defender is the most dangerous space that you want to protect as a defensive unit entirely. So I hope you enjoyed this position specific session here we've put on. Okay, the center defensive midfielder for me is one of my favorite positions just because of the wide array of responsibilities you have both in possession as well as out of possession as you may have seen. Being able to dictate, dictate the play as a center defensive midfielder, get on the ball to progress the ball forward is one of my favorite aspects as well as defensively you get to do some of the dirty work as well in terms of being aggressive, breaking up play, winning your aerial duels, etc, etc. Okay, Smash that subscribe button, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Okay, we'd really appreciate it. The channel would really appreciate it. All right, we can't wait to see you at the next video. Thanks.